The reality of relegation is now hitting home with Leeds United fans. Yorkshire Evening Post Chief Soccer Writer Phil Hay has lived and breathed every minute of this astonishingly bad season. We asked him what his views are, what caused the relegation and how Leeds can go forward from this point. Well, I think there have been several key failings this season, um, the first of which would unquestionably be the strength of the squad. Um, I would say that a lot of people, myself included, probably put too much faith in the squad that reached the playoff final last season and expected that they could do the same this year, despite the fact that, that several key players had obviously aged and were well past their peak. I think there was a, a shortage of investment in the summer. I think fewer players were signed than needed to be brought in. And by January, when it was obvious that the squad wasn't strong enough to survive, I don't think the money was put forward to, to make a strong enough team. Uh, Dennis Wise was forced to rely on loan signings, um, on short-term deals. And I think it's become quite apparent through the, the back end of the season that that's had a big effect on the results. Um, 14 loan players, in my opinion, is, is too many. Um, it's been an unstable squad and I think that's been, been the real reason behind the, the problems this season. I think the, the game that, that showed it to me was the 3-0 defeat to Sunderland back in September. It became obvious that there were problems behind the scenes there, uh, problems in the dressing room, uncertainty among the players, uncertainty about their own potential, about how far they could go that season. Um, I still think the game that did for Kevin Blackwell was the game against Wolves, when Wolves scored in the, the 92nd minute. Um, after that, it spiralled down fairly quickly. But I think the, the point at which everybody realised that relegation might be on the cards was the 4-0 defeat at home to Stoke. It was a poor performance, a, a really damaging result, um, and it was just compounded by the 5-1 defeat at, at Luton seven days later. And by that stage and by the time John Carver went, it was fairly obvious where the season was heading. There have been moments of bad luck. I think the, the odd decision here and there um, has, has had an effect. Dennis Wise would point to Matt Heath's header during the home game against Barnsley. Um, there was an important penalty decision at South End, which, which was wrong, which should have given Leeds the chance for three points. But in all honesty, I felt that South End probably did enough to win that day. Um, and Healy's goal in the 88th minute probably prevented what might have been a, a pretty fatal result on the South Coast. Um, luck has played a part, but I don't think you can finish third bottom and really try to claim that luck is, uh, is behind that. Um, I think the majority of the squad will move on this summer. Wages will probably dictate that and the wage bill will have to be revised. There's not a massive difference between the Championship and League One in terms of finance, in terms of revenue that comes in, but there is a difference, and you can't maintain the same wage bill in the level below. Having said that, I think you'll find a lot of players this summer um, who might be offered the chance to play for a club they never thought they'd be good enough to play for, and I think a lot of the top players below the Championship will be looking at Leeds and really fancying having a go there, uh, really fancy going to the club and seeing what they can achieve. I don't think a club like Leeds should, should fall this far. I don't believe they can fall any further, but I think the investment needs to be there this summer. The squad needs to be built responsibly. I think they need the strength and depth to last the pace of what will be a really, really hard season next year.